Hello, this is the Dark Magazine bringing you a Pokemon Wi Fi battle against Shofu. His channel link will be in the description. I'm not going to talk about the battle because I need to do an update really. So, I'm going to stop uploading to my channel because it's I've got exams, I've got exam leave where I really need to revise, and my computer rendering times are ridiculous. For like a 9 minute video, it can come up, I think the highest it's been is f uh, 4 or 5 hours. And an hour to upload, I really don't have that time and I want to use my computer for other things because if I'm using them all, I'm using it to render, it will be like lagging. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone else who knows who makes videos will know this. So, I'm sorry about that. And the only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a new laptop by, I think, hopefully after my exams, it'll be a decent laptop. Where I can actually do stuff on it, so I will be able to render quite quickly, and up my well, upload time will be the same because it's that's all depends on the internet. But I will be hopefully trying to get at least three videos up a week by then, and I might even start doing more let's plays on ROMs and emulators because right now my computer cannot support an emulator and a screen recorder because it just lags out, and I really can't I can't be bothered with. It. So, that's mainly what I wanted to cover, so I never thought I would cover it that quickly. And I might just end up having to talk about the battle which I had against Shofu at the Zat Chat RPX. And, yeah, so I'm using the, so this team that I'm using is actually been, well it was a random team to start off the first time we used it. It's quite whorish, and then I realised mm, this works quite well. So I, I think I'm going to, so this is one of the teams that I've got in my boxes because I just like to organise everything in my boxes, like I've got one team, another team, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, now I feel like an idiot because I've just stopped talking, but th that doesn't matter. So he goes into Vitsini, obviously I take back uh, Revision, going to my Chandera. And by the way, I only know all the Japanese names. I'm too lazy to go learn the English ones. But yeah, my flash fire takes the V crate. He was draws that as I believe I go for the shadow ball here. Or no, I'm, oh, I'm asleep. Eh, sorry, I forgot about that because I wasn't watching it before I was doing the update. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but he gets a growth off. I believe now I wake up and get the flamethrower off and taking out his Venusaur. Uh, I think it's a two hit KO. Or, no, it should be a one hit KO, even if I didn't get a crit. Yep, one hit KO, no problem. That was quite unlucky, but I w that was what, two, three turns of sleep, just about? Which makes just about sense. So he goes into his Gyarados, this Gyarados uh, causing me a few problems because I never realised it was bulky. So I go into my Gengar because it knows T Bolt. And I was expecting to be able to get a T-Boat off, but no, no, it's dra no, sorry, Dragon Tail. So it Dragon Tails me back out. So that that means it doesn't know a water move, which is good for me. But it, I end up coming into my bell end. I don't know why I call it. It's, I call it that because I don't know. I was bored, okay. Um, so he takes that out because he can't touch it because he only knows Dragon Tail, I think. And then he goes into Vitsini on the Toxic, which is good for me. Because Vitsini actually causes a lot of problems later on in the game. So I'm glad I got the Toxic off there. And that basically helps, that helps me a lot. So I get the Protect off. Well, I don't get off. It's obvious I always get off. But use Protect just to wall out Vitsini. Well, not wall out. Shut up. It's all out. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So he takes that out and he goes into his Nine Tails again. And I obviously switch out because I'm expecting a fire blaster or flame flame thrower. So I go into my Sazendora. I think he goes for the hypnosis and I he misses. Yeah, he misses this, which is lucky lucky for me, but hypnosis isn't the most accurate attack, so it was obviously going to miss one of the shots. I just go for a dark pulse because I don't want to use a dragon uh no dragon meters 
because then I would lose obviously my special defence and special attack and special defence is really important on this hit because it is a bulky Sandora. So uh, EU turns, I know I, c I think I could Oh, I thought I could live it, I'm not sure if I actually do, but I do live it with 40 HP because as I said, this has got a lot of input for the HP and the special defence, although the special defence would not have helped that. But yeah, so he goes into this and I happily get the dark pulse off, which does fuck all. <laughs> That's like, what, a 5 hit KO? And my life orb takes me down to 5 HP. So, yeah. He's, no matter what he does, I'm dead next turn, so I just go for the fire blast. No idea why he stayed in there. I, have, I, don't, I, I think he might, have, he might have thought I was choice scarfed, since I only went for dark pulse twice. I, I think I definitely think that's what, but I don't know how he never seen the life orb there, so. What is it? If you're wondering about that name, it's just because that's, that's what Pokegen done there. I'm sorry, I can't, can't help that. I've tried to fill you in stuff. So I go back into Shandera with Choice Scarf, so I know I'll outspeed it hopefully, unless he's also Choice Scarf, but he withdraws, so I think I, no, I'm, I don't think I am Choice Scarf on this set, I do have a Choice Scarf set, but it may not be this one, so no right to say it. So I go for my Shadow Ball and the Gyarados, which actually does quite a bit, to hit heal maybe, without the crit, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if the crit mattered there. It probably did help. It obviously helped me a lot, but he only knows Dragon Tail, which would maybe kill the. No, it would kill the Shandera, but it would have probably been a bit of three hit KO actually. So the crit did matter there, but it didn't matter too much because he's able to get the rest off, and then just sleep talk out from here, I believe. Because I actually run a very similar set, and I'm probably gonna change it to be a little bit more like his. So I have the. Dragon Tail and not the Waterfall because I realise his dry skin ability just completely screws me over. It's unbelievable how annoying it is as I learned when I V gym at like 5 in the morning, no not 5, like 3 in the morning and we're both too tired to pay attention. <laughs> it's quite long. But yeah, whatever. Uh, so the battle is only got a minute left now I believe. I just bring in Latios here, T boat him. That's obviously what I was gonna do. One hit kill, no problem, four times weak to it. And Specs Latios is just unbelievable in this game. So build this gen, so I'm quite happily gonna keep using it until it gets banned, which I I probably think it will because it's just it's unreal the amount of things it'll take down as it just did there. No, I never took it out. And he gets a V Oh, I hate this move. It it does not that much. It does it does actually do. Fuck! It takes it out. Oh yeah, this is a uh, end. The sorry guys, I forgot. Um, he basically just starts taking everything out. with but seeing his last Pokemon, I believe. I think so at this point. I'm not sure. And yeah, so battle's almost over. This Vitsini does cause me a hell of a lot of problem. Thank God I got the. I only went into Rebushin so I could get the max and the max ah uh, max punch off. Which I don't think even kills it. No it does. Oh, my bad, I forgot. But yeah, that could have caused me a lot of problems if I never had the priority move there and it wasn't poisoned. Because I don't think it would have killed if it wasn't poisoned. So yeah. Good game, Shofu, and bye.